Hey guys, welcome back to the Fords Galaxy. Hope you all are good. So as you all know, in our last video, we have started with the topic workflow rules, and we have discussed that we have two actions in the workflow. One is immediate, and the other is time based. The immediate action was covered in the last video itself, and so on today's video, we're going to discuss the time based workflow. So what are time based, and why do we need them, and how we can create them? So we'll discuss everything. So let's start with today's video. So there are cases in the real-time project where we don't want our actions to be executed instantly or immediately. We want them to be executed after certain period of time. It can be after one hour or two hour after ten number of days. So here we don't want them to be executed instantly. So in this scenarios where we want our actions to be executed in the future, we will use or go with our time-dependent workflow rules. So the time trigger is to convey to the sales force that after how many hours or days we want this to happen or we want our actions to be executed. So in the work uh, in this time based, all the actions are placed in the workflow queue. We have a workflow queue where all the actions are placed and and in the time based actions also we have all the same four actions as we have in our immediate actions that is creating a task. sending an email alert and updating a field and the next is sending an outbound messages so now let's move to our screen and see how we can create these time based actions uh, so our scenario is something like this whenever my opportunity is close won i want to update some field or we can also send an email alert after some interval of time so this is our previous workflow which we have used in the previous recording So we'll going to edit the same and add our immediate action in this only. So as this is deactivated already, now let's add time trigger to this. Time trigger is to set the value or the time after what interval of time you want to execute your actions. So here I have different values for the time and days. Rule trigger date I have selected that is uh, whenever the condition will be satisfied after the one day it will fire the workflow or uh, action. So here in this time trigger now I have different action whatever I want to perform. Let's select field update. After my condition is satisfied for the workflow, I want it to update my field after one day. So for now, I have selected type field, and this is of pick list type. So selected one value here, and evaluate. Now save. For the evaluate, you can check out my last video in which I have explained why we use this evaluate. So here, my action was added, and now let's uh, change the condition for the workflow also. Whenever it is active. is checked and my stage is close won we are done with our actions time based is added here now it's time to activate this is added and as you where we can see our workflow queue Here on the left hand side, as you can see, I have a time based workflow under monitoring. So here we can see our pending action for the workflows for the time based workflows. Here we need to add our workflow name, and for this particular workflow, it will going to show me all the pending actions which are in queue. So now let's write our workflow name here and search. For now, as no new record is created or updated, so no 
new pending action is here now let's satisfy according to the condition uh, update the record and after this we'll check out our workflow queue now let's open the opportunity edit the previous record now our condition is to make the checkbox true and the stage is equals to close one to the condition it should fire my workflow rule that is the criteria are satisfied now let's check our workflow queue is that time based action is in this workflow queue or not search yes now as you can see i have one pending action for this workflow queue and this will execute whatever the time trigger i have set there so if you deact now if you deactivate your workflow and still if this uh, pending action is present in this workflow queue it will going to execute your or fire or up going to update your field but if you remove this workflow queue then you can avoid your actions to be execute in the future or the in the time trigger whatever you have set now again i have one more scenario what happen if i delete that record which i have created this pending action in the workflow queue now let's try this so i have deleted this record which i have created the pending action and now let's again check whether it has removed my pending action from the queue or not now search as you can see the pending action is removed from here so this conclusion is this if we no record is exist which have created the pending action then automatically it will be removed from the workflow queue now after the one day that is the time trigger whatever i have set my type value is updated so now let's discuss some points regarding the time based workflow So point number 1 is time based workflow rules are not applied to the previously created records they are only applied to the records which are created or updated after activating this time based workflow rule example if i have a time based workflow rule on to send an email alert after 10 days my opportunity is closed on and i have already apport have opportunity from the past 5 days which is close one and i have activated this time based workflow now it will not consider that previously created uh, opportunity but it will only send an email alert to the opportunities which are now after activating this rule are created or updated to close one so now on second is if the record which has pending actions is deleted then all the pending actions for that record will be deleted from the queue Now our third point is to edit the time based actions. Now in our immediate action we can simply edit them by deactivating our workflow rule but in the time based action we cannot simply edit them by deactivating the workflow rule but we also have to check if that action has any pending actions in the workflow queue if yes then we have to remove them or delete them from there then only we can able to edit the time based actions. in workflow now our fourth point is if you have deactivated your workflow rule but it has it pending action in the workflow queue then after editing the record it will going to execute instead uh, still if your workflow rule is deactivated so here what we have discuss about the work time based workflow rule in our sales force and in our next video we're going to discuss some interview questions or the frequently asked question on the workflow rules so those who didn't subscribe yet do subscribe and stay tuned for the next video thanks for watching thank you